This is a brief video demonstration of the Densply RIN XCPDS Fit autoclavable sensor holder system with the XDR sensor. This is the latest sensor from XDR. It has a white face and a black back. You can see how it looks on the back side there. The interesting thing about this sensor is they've designed it to maximize the active area at the cord end, where usually there's a bit of electronics that give you an inactive spot, to make it easier for you to capture the distal of the maxillary canine on your premolar bite wings. Now the XCPDS fit system is universal, and each bite block will fit a size 1 or size 2 sensor of any brand. Here you can see this is the anterior indication, and the posterior is the yellow one. And you can kind of see how that, that uh, clip stretches out to fit and hold it uh, tightly. There's nothing that interferes with the cord attachment on the back of the sensor. Uh, there is one bite block per indication. This is a vertical bite wing holder. This would be the horizontal bite wing holder. And you can see the best way to load the sensor, and normally during use, of course, we'd have a sensor cover on it. Uh, you just clip the sensor with that adjustable clip and slide it up until you get the sensor in. Center it there, that would be a horizontal bite wing. There is an alternative um, anterior bite block for the XCPDS fit system. You can see the standard one is a little bit thicker, kind of keep the mouth open so they don't close down as far on that digital sensor. But for some patients with shallow palate, uh, uh, with a shallow palate, this thinner bite block might be a little bit easier to get into the mouth. And you can see um, both of these would fit the size 2 or size 1 uh, sensor. There is also a green XCPDS fit endodontic uh, bite block. Uh, you can see that the center of the uh, bite block here is open, so the files uh, would be sticking through there for your working images. Now this bite block has that adjustable clip, you know, hold a size 1 in the vertical orientation, or for this size 2, it will hold it in the horizontal orientation, so that would be for your working images when you're doing your endo. Um, we also have the Snap Array DS that would work with this uh, sensor. And basically this is like a film snap array, but you can see that the, there's a larger cutout to allow room for the sensor. It comes with a nice extra oral mark that you can see when the sensor and the snap ray DS are in the patient's mouth. It lines up with that edge of the sensor so you can see where the sensor is even when it's in the mouth. Uh, and that will hold the size 1 or size 2. It's completely universal. And this is how the interior end would work. It would just slide on through there. We have the active area. We'd be imaging through the plastic. Uh, this little part here would be the incisal edge stop, and the patient would just kind of hold this in their mouth for those uh, anterior periapical images.